going to see a mix of clouds and sunshine. A lot of cloud cover in the morning, including this morning. But while that cloud cover gradually breaks up, at best, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of filtered sunshine. Mid and high level clouds are going to be tougher to shake. There's the possibility of a couple of sprinkles here and there, but notice the question mark after that statement. It is far from a certainty that even a drop or two on the windshield is going to occur. Temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer today. Despite the clouds, southerly winds are going to bring a warmer air mass towards us, but then we cool off again tomorrow. A slow return to normal June temperatures by the middle of next week, something that we haven't experienced so far in the month of June, and we didn't have that much of in May either. Here's Futurecast as we head through the rest of today and into the rest of the weekend. We're going to see the passing clouds overhead. Tough to shake them entirely, but you see how the moisture is kind of avoiding us. Best chance is going to be over Southern California, over the Sierra every afternoon, but if those showers and pop-up thunderstorms try to break away and move towards us from east to west, they're going to fall apart as they try to move in. It's not necessarily a 0% rain chance, but it's pretty close. 10 to 20% today, tomorrow, and into Monday. It means we can't rule it out, but it is not likely. You're not going to see any raindrop icons on the seven-day forecast. Let's take a look at the temperature trend for today. We're going to end up, as I mentioned, about 3 to 5 degrees below average, which is warmer than where we were yesterday. Should be in the 60s, mostly around the bay, with mostly 70s inland. Let's zoom in for a closer look. Upper 50s along the coast. That part of the forecast doesn't change. You're going to be stuck right around 60 degrees. A mix of upper 60s and low 70s down the peninsula and around the south end of the bay, with mostly mid-70s in the Santa Clara Valley, up to 74 in San Jose. Mid to upper 70s inland in the East Bay, some of the warmest spots for the first time in several days, getting up to around or even above 80 degrees from Pittsburgh to Antioch to Brentwood. That's the exception. Most of our temperatures are going to be in the 70s inland, 60s near the water, 63 in San Francisco with 66 for Oakland. Temperatures in the North Bay reaching up into the low 70s on a widespread basis until you go farther north, farther inland. You're in for more of a warm-up with temperatures more likely to get up to around or above 80 degrees for inland Mendocino County and Lake County as well. If you're heading out to the Cubs game this afternoon as they play game two of their series against the Cubbies, temperature game time at 435 is going to be right around 60 degrees, maybe just above, but we're steadily going to cool off through the course of the game. So make sure you layer up appropriately. If you're sitting in that filtered sunshine, it might feel a couple of degrees warmer. We also have the Novato Art, Wine, and Music Festival happening this weekend. Sunday, the cooler half of the weekend for the entire Bay Area, the temperature drop is going to be most noticeable for those inland parts of the Bay Area. Temperatures around the Bay are going to return to near average by Thursday and Friday of next week. That means the upper half of the 60s in the city, just above 70 in Oakland. While inland temperatures are going to return to the upper 70s and low 80s on a widespread basis by the end of next week. And it's likely we keep that trend going into Father's Day weekend. Even along the coast, your temperatures warm up a little bit, a little farther into the 60s by the end of next week.